All right, good morning. The stoke is all time. We took yesterday off from snowboarding in general and the vlog as a whole, so we got so much energy right now. I gotta give some shout outs. We did some sticker packing up this morning. Gabriel Garcia, Arthur Konings, Guy Bazzi, Eddie Soriano, Robert Barry, Devane Van Beek, Hafid Garcia, Jesse Hauk, Matt Tucker, and Tom McLeod. Huge, huge, huge thanks as always for supporting. As you guys know, yesterday we gave out a never summer snowboard in the vlog. So it's so funny seeing everybody's comments running up in the section right now. I believe I know who won, but we are going to Woodward. We'll worry about that later. We gotta go to the post office real quick, send those things out, and then week three, never summer, day four, Woodward Tahoe, I think I got two more days left before I gotta get out of here and we are going to head, where you guys think we're gonna head next? Where would you guys like to see me go next? That's what we should be doing. We should be asking you guys what you wanna see. What kind of videos do you wanna see in the future and where do you wanna see me go? Let's jump into this day here because we don't know what we're making right now. All right, we just rolled up on some of the steeziest riders in the game right now. Nate House and Levi Gunsberg, which got me got me thinking of a good idea for this vlog. I had a quote too, it's that uh, get Levi down to 1K. Let's go. Let's see some grease bump. Wasn't going for the 450, just happened, he says. <laughs> just happened. I don't know what happened. I think I blacked out for a little bit. <laughs> oh, wait, the kids. All right, it's interview time. All right, Nate. Catch me. <laughs> <laughs> we need some wise words of wisdom now. Wise words of wisdom. Where do you think your style is coming from, bro? Topic style? Oh boy, style. It's just something you feel. What's my style? Probably endless, endless video watching, taking notes, trying it out. When did you start snowboarding? When did I start snowboarding? I think I started when I was about 13. Levi. Yeah. When When did you start snowboarding? When I was like in the womb, I think. <laughs> I my. So I was the first person to do a dub. All right, we're not gonna be able to use a lot of Levi's stuff. <laughs> but Nate, snowboarding a long time. 
and been snowboarding a long time. Finding it in yourself is where everybody's got their own different style. Yeah, everyone's got their own style. You know, I think the style makes your snowboarding your own, and that's you know that's why everyone snowboards differently. Tips on improving your own style. Tips on improving your own style. I would say style kind of comes from. <laughs> I would say time on the board. Um, you know, you, you want to try to keep your tricks as fluent as possible. Keep yourself composed. Arms are a big one. Keep them down. I mean, I know you have to use your arms to snowboard, but the lower the arms, usually the better the trick. Um, and you don't have to go huge when you've got a lot of style. If you don't want to grab, you don't have to grab. Just make it look good. What I say is, uh, do we look good? Yes. Do we care? No. Do other people care? Yes. <laughs> Chairlift interviews, part one. We will return back shortly. Okay. All right, here's a question for style points. Is it crucial to wear sunglasses and a hat that will guarantee fall off in a high speed trick. These will not fall off because they're meant for a six year old. <laughs> Whatever feels most comfortable for you is what you should do. You want to be as comfortable you're as possible. You're doing it for yourself. Comfortable as possible. Cool you, want to feel, you want to feel like you're in a bed so you can sleep while you snowboard. All right, we gotta explain to the folks why we think Levi's style is so good. It's a very good question. Being born Smooth. in the woods in Vermont. Born in the woods, just drinks maple syrup, <laughs> breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, that is a huge, that's a big reason on why he's so steezy. Slippery. He's slippery. Slick. He's got some slick style. Yeah. Growing up on the East Coast, I wanna say, has a huge part to do with style as well because you are just forced to snowboard in the most brutal conditions and then when you get to california perfect bluebird sunny conditions every day it's actually a lot easier and the time on the board i want to say is more important than anything if oh, you've yeah. been snowboarding your whole life then you reach that level of comfort which makes your arms go by your side and not overthink things and then another huge thing that i would say is getting your gear dialed in to the point where you're not changing it at all because when you change your gear up things feel different and then you have to adapt to that if you get the right gear like you've been riding the same snowboard for how long i've seen you break your board and you just constantly well, having this actually i've got a lot of the same boards however i set them up exactly the same i know exactly what width my binding should be at the degrees it is a new board but it doesn't feel like a new board you think a little wider stance helps with some genus or what it depends it's all personal preference for me certainly it helps a lot i've dabbled with switching up my my stance quite a few times in the past year and i think i've dialed it in and it is a little bit wider but Kind of a tall dude, a bigger guy, got broader shoulders. I think the the rule of thumb is your binding should be as wide as your shoulders. There it is. All right, let's clean up that uh, swivel rodeo thing. Yeah, 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 for sure. I gotta, if you grab my hat. <laughs> I got I you. lost my hat. All right, try a switch wildcat. Try? No, 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 no. I'm gonna do a switch wildcat. There we Never go. Never done it before. Never really thought about it, but uh, let's give it a whirl. I didn't know that, but I can believe it. It's like bowling. Scooter has been around since the uh, 5000 uh, BC era. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm 
gonna hit the kicker. Wanna do a kicker? Yeah. Casey Willax falling on a front three. What do you guys think? Comment below. Second installment so of the Casey, podcast. Casey, you've been known in the snowboard industry as a liar and a fake. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> Never lied. There he goes, lying again. So the thing about Casey that he hasn't shared with you guys is. This whole time. <laughs> I can't, I can't use Real talk, who wants to see the Levi Gunsberg podcast go down? It's going down. Levi or or, or, or <laughs> the Nate podcast. Yeah, but if, if you go Comment through mine. Comment section. Who do we want he's, first? He's in a relationship. If you go through <laughs> mine, I'll share <laughs> right now. <laughs> got me beat. All right. That is it for today. I hope you guys got some uh, little tips or advice there about how to improve your style on a snowboard. I want to say more than anything, it's just building that comfortability within yourself. And that comes from having the correct gear and then having an insane amount of comfortability on a snowboard, which I also believe comes from a lot of years riding, growing up riding. And if you didn't grow up, like I didn't grow up riding, then just committing to moving somewhere where the resort is amazing and you can get good lap time, like Corinthia Parks at Mount Snow in Vermont, and then just grinding, 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 putting those hours in is the most crucial, important thing you can do to improve your style on a snowboard. I wanna bring up a clip right now of Nate Houst from last year at North Star. Found this legend. Found it? Not Found you. Oh, me. <laughs> I thought you took the GoPro. <laughs> Dude. One of the greasiest runs I've ever filmed. That's Nate and that's Levi in a nutshell. These boys have been snowboarding their whole life, so that's why they make it look so easy. And we're out of here. We're about to head to the post office now because I forgot to do what I said I was gonna do this morning, which was ship out all these orders because you guys are legends. And then we are gonna go back to town, see what else we can't get into for the rest of this day. Probably clean up the van and get ready to get packing because tomorrow is LDOH for your boy at Woodward Tahoe. I hate to hear it.